What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today a lot of people are going to be installing the new iOS 10 update. The public beta just became available, there's a lot of awesome new features, so of course it's going to happen. But from a speed perspective, should you do it? Will iOS 10 degrade the performance of your device? And I'm not even talking about stability or crashing, anything like that, just raw speed. Not only that, battery life as well. I know a lot of people are doing this on their daily devices, even though you shouldn't. So how will it affect your battery life and speed? Let's go ahead and find out on every single device currently running this in the iPhone category anyways. And we're gonna be comparing iOS 9.3.2 to iOS 10 developer beta two, which is pretty much the same thing as the public beta one. And something interesting I wanted to point out is that iOS 10 does have a decrypted kernel, meaning performance could be better thanks to the lack of encryption on the kernel cache. And in the latest beta two of iOS 10, Apple actually decrypted the kernel on 32-bit devices, meaning the iPhone 5. So we could be seeing a performance increase there as well. Very curious to find out. All right, so shutting these guys off for the startup test, just to see if it's improved at all since beta 2. iOS 9.3.2 is going to be on the left. So 9.3.2, iOS 10, 9, 10, 9, 10. All right, starting up in 3, 2, 1. And they should be off. So let's go ahead and see if a startup has improved whatsoever. In my last video, iOS 10 was slower on every single device to boot. So let's see if it's improved. Nope. Wow, good, like three, four seconds on the iPhone 5S as well. Not looking good for iOS 10 yet. I like that it jumps straight to the home screen. You don't have to slide it, but uh, still slow. I thought there would be a little bit of an improvement because it feels faster to me and same on the iPhone 5. So if booting up is important to you, if you're always in life and death situations, iOS 9 is gonna be the one to win here. All right, and all of the newer devices. So 6S and SE starting up in three, two, one. And they are off. So the iPhone 6S still on iOS 9 was faster in my last test. I'm curious to see if there was any improvement there whatsoever. And iOS 9 on iPhone SE was absolutely first. Also, I was not on the 6S, so disappointing results, but that's surprising. The SE is faster than the iPhone 6S when it comes to booting. This thing is a monster for sure. And let's do the device to device test. So the iPhone 5, this is the one I'm most interested in because it's the oldest one running iOS 9. I was very surprised in the first place that Apple didn't discontinue it, but not only that, Apple decrypted the 32-bit kernel. So we can go ahead and see if that made any difference in speed improvement. And I will be comparing some of these tests to iOS 10 beta one as well. Anyways, so uh, let's go ahead and jump in to the spotlight search. Oh no, iOS 9 is definitely still winning there. App Switcher, one, two. See, there's that delay. I would talk to you guys about that in some of my videos whenever we're doing stuff. There's just like a slight delay. It's not too noticeable, but if you got used to the speed on iOS 9, it's, it's just really annoying having to deal with them. So let's launch settings in one, two. And iOS 10 actually loaded that one faster. Okay, let's try a sub menu here. One, two. Huh, that is terrible. One, two. Okay, this time iOS 9 still loaded it faster. Okay, it's not unbearably slow, but it's just enough to annoy you. And control center. Oh my gosh, that is terrible. But this is a beta, guys. I mean, you can't judge the full product. Uh, it hasn't even released yet, so we don't know. But notification center. Man, that delay again. This is beta 2 as well, so... You know, I'm just really confused as to why that is, but let's go ahead and launch the App Store on two. This is web-based, so it's testing a little bit of the internet speed. iOS 9 did load it first. And lastly, the camera. So this is one area iOS 10 did good in, but still slower here. iPhone 5S, already a step up. This is the first 64-bit device, so let's see if there's any improvement. Spotlight search. Oh my gosh. Awful, but less awful on iOS 9. App switcher, one, two. iOS 10, wow, one, two. Okay, a little bit better, more even there. Control center, iOS 10. Notification center, about the same. Settings, about the same. Sub menus, iOS 9 still has the lead there. And App Store, iOS 9 loaded that one faster yet again. And finally, let's try camera, one, two iOS 9. This is not looking good. I thought it would improve the performance with the kernel thing, but apparently not. iPhone 6 already getting into much faster territory. Spotlight search, 1, 2. iOS 10, surprisingly. App switcher, 1, 2. iOS 9. Control center, iOS 10. I don't know why there's so much lag. I mean, this is 
completely empty iPhone. There's like nothing on it too. All right, one, two, about the same on that one. Opening settings in one, two, and that is the same. Sub menus on the six, again, faster on iOS 9. App Store, iOS 9 yet again. And this one is uh, far faster, very surprising. Camera, one, two, Wow, faster on iOS 10. So yeah, that is actually what I saw in the last video. So iOS 10 on newer phones launches camera faster. I don't know, most people aren't gonna be installing iOS 10 for speed anyways, just for the features. So fastest of the bunch control center, faster on 6S on iOS 10. Spotlight search, about the same. Notification center, iOS 9. And app switcher, one, two both pretty responsive. So I noticed uh, even though there is a delay in iOS 10 beta 2, it's not as bad as it was in beta 1. So certainly an improvement already. Well, let's go ahead and try settings on 1, 2, and a sub menu. A little bit faster on iOS 9, actually almost unnoticeably. And the app store. So web-based app again on iOS 9. Not looking good for iOS 10. Let's do the camera, 1, 2. Again, on iOS 10, a little bit faster. So that's at least a, a good thing is that you'll be able to take your pictures a little bit faster with that guy. All right, an iPhone SE. So Spotlight Search, iOS 9, just by a little bit. Control Center, iOS 10. App Switcher, 1, 2. So a little bit of a delay on iOS 10. Let's do Settings, about the same. Sub Menus, wow, this one is actually pretty evenly matched. And App Store, 1, 2. Faster again on iOS 9, no surprise there. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna do one more test on all of these before we get into the battery results, and that's the fingerprint sensor speed, how long it takes to unlock each phone. Starting with the iPhone 5, no fingerprint sensor, but I wanted to see anyways. So a little bit of a challenge, but about the same. 5S from a dark screen, one, two. Oh, so a little bit of a delay on iOS 10, interesting, one, two. Yeah, wow, I did not expect that actually. So certainly a delay on iOS 10 and there's even a little bit of a lag to it. iPhone 6, one, two. What the heck? Very interesting. Again, on the iPhone 6, slow. And yeah, you can see the lag too. One, two. iPhone 6S, one, two. Even on this guy, one, two. So from a dark screen, it's slower. Let's try from a lit up one, one, two. That one is just about the same, but most of us don't like press our home button and then wait to unlock it. We just press it, you know? So again, one, two, <laughs> slower. And iPhone SE, one, two. Yeah, definitely slower again. All right, and here are the Geekbench results. So this is the 5, 5S, 6, 6S, and SE. So in multi-core score, iOS 10 beta 2 was lower on every single device, telling me that it isn't well optimized just yet. Single core score is all over the place, but just about evenly matched on all of these devices. And here are the internet speed test results. So of course they're capped by my internet speeds, but the curious thing is on devices not capable of reaching that cap, iOS 10 was slow lower across the board, so iOS 9 is still well optimized when it comes to Wi-Fi speed. And very last thing is the battery results. So these were all performed on the same device, of course. 9.3.2 on the iPhone 5 was 1821, then it went to 1840 with iOS 10 Beta 1, and now 1846 on iOS 10 Beta 2. So looks like the battery life is getting optimized already. iPhone 5S started with 1650 on iOS 9.3.2, then went to 1731 on beta one of iOS 10, and then back down to 1645. iPhone 6 on 9.3.2 started at 1815, then went to 1883 on iOS 10, and now 2143. So it actually gained over 30 minutes of battery life. It started at three hours and one minute on iOS 9, and now three hours, 34 minutes. That's very, very surprising. All right, so I'm scratching my head about this one. iPhone 6S, 2195 on iOS 9. Then 2186 on iOS 10. Beta 2 was 3456. That's like one and a half times better than Beta 1. I'm not sure if that was because Beta 1 had some significant battery bug that was draining it and it just didn't get this potential, but crazy, crazy difference right there. And let's go ahead and see it on the SE. All right, so 9.3.2, 2945, Beta 1 of iOS 10, 3031, 
and now beta 2, 36, 28. So certainly I'm seeing an improvement across the board here. iOS 10 beta 2 does have better battery life. It's certainly been optimized and whatever battery drainage bug there was seems to have been resolved in beta 2. All right guys, so that's it. I'm sorry, it was a very long test. I just wanted to include everything. Maybe not as fast, but the battery life certainly is better. The fingerprint sensor is slower. The Wi-Fi performance seems to be just a little bit worse. Of course, it's not ready for prime time, but if I were to use this as a daily driver, it wouldn't be so bad. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace.